Hi, welcome to the video on polygon sum conjecture. Um, in this video, you're going to see how to use the polygon sum conjecture, which is right here. It's that the interior angle sum of any polygon is equal to 180 times n minus 2. Well, this n means the number of sides. So basically, how you're going to use this in each particular figure is I'll give you a figure like this, maybe uh, w, z, y, x, this polygon here. You count up the number of sides that it has, so in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, and you put that number right there. So let's try that. 180 times 4 minus 2. In this case, 4 minus 2 is just 2. So this really just says 180 times 2. If you do that on a calculator, 180 times 2 is 360. So I know if I add up these four angles, I should get 360. Well, right now, I know three of them, and I want to know the last one. That's what I'm usually going to ask you. I might have a question mark there. You might say measure of angle Z equals. but Whatever it is, all you do is you add these three up and subtract from that number. Okay, so if I go on my calculator, I add up 115 plus 62 plus 72.2, I'm going to get 249.2, and all I'm going to do is 360 minus that 249.2, which I got from adding those three. When I do 360 minus that, I get 110.8. And that's my answer for that problem. Okay. Again, all you have to do, find the sum by using this formula, get the number of sides, put it in there, and then of course add these up and subtract from the sum. Let's see another one. Same exact idea. So again, I'm going to count the number of sides. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can also just count the, the letters you see here, the vertices. There's six vertices, so there's six sides. So in this case, it's going to be 180 times the number of sides. In this case, 6 minus 2. That's 180 times 4. 180 times 4 on the calculator has, happens to be 720. I know these off the top of my head because I do this a lot. So this says if I add up these six angles, I better get 720. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I know five of them. I'm going to add those up. I'm going to subtract from 720. So I'm going to go in here 111.9 plus 130 plus 115 plus 118, plus 120, and I get 594.9. And what I'm going to do with that number is I'm going to subtract from 720. So 720 minus 594.9. And when I do that, I get 125.1. And that's that. Now, assuming that I haven't made any mistakes, assuming that I didn't type anything wrong, this should be totally right. The only place you can really make a mistake here is if you type in one of these numbers wrong, or you type in one of these numbers wrong. That's about it. And the more numbers you're typing, the easier it is to make a mistake. So, just make sure you've got the right idea. I, I mean, it's okay to make a mistake here or there, but just double check your work. At the end of this problem, if I add up all six of these, I should get 720. If I add up all four of these, I should get 360. If I do, I'm right. If I didn't do it right, then it won't come out correctly. Let's look at this third example. This third example is not more difficult, but it does take a little bit longer. So it's the same idea. So I, I know I want to count the number of sides to figure out how much or what the interior angle sum should be. So let's do that. Got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Well, conveniently, I already did this. 180 times 6 minus 2. I already know the sum is going to be 720. So I'm not going to do that again because I just did it. But what the point is, if I add these six things up, I should get 720. Now, here, it's not as nice. I can't just add them and subtract because I've got variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them down as I go. Okay? I'm going to big, long sum. 5x minus 23. That's this angle here. You can't see it. That does say 5x minus 23. Plus the next angle, 153 plus 6x minus 25 plus x plus 46. Let me just make sure you guys can still see this. Let me move this over a little bit. There you go. Okay. Plus x plus 46 plus 4x plus uh, 47 plus 90. And that's all supposed to equal. 360, or not sorry, not 360, uh, 
this case, I combine all my x's. Let's see, I've got 5x, I've got 6x, I've got 1x, 4x, 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 1 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16x. I have 16x's, and then I have to combine all my regular numbers. And when I combine those, I've got negative 23, positive 153, negative 25, positive 46, positive 4, uh, positive 47, I'm sorry, and positive 90. And I add all of them up, I think I should get something like this. Let's see. Negative 23 plus 153 minus 25 plus 46 plus 47 plus 90. I get 288. So I'm going to write plus 288. And it still equals 720. That's, that's 7, yeah, 760. Let me fix that. 720. And then all I have to do is solve an equation. Well, I was adding 288, so I subtract 288. Canceling those out. 16x is going to come down. 720 minus 288. Let's see, that gives me 432. And then since it says 16 times x, I divide by 16. 16, 16, and you do get x is 27, I believe. Yep. And that's that. Now for this particular problem, we're pretty much done. In some problems, uh, if the instructions are solve for x, then you're done. In this particular problem, I meant to have this here, uh, measure of angle w. I want to know what that equals. So the problem is a lot of times I'll ask you for one specific angle. So all you do is take this x and plug it in wherever I told you to plug it into. I said w. So this is going to say 5 times x minus 23. Well, x is 27, so it really says 5 times 27 minus 23. 5 times 27 should give you... Uh, I don't know, I can't think of that. 125 plus 10, 135, I believe. 135 minus 23 is 120. And that's that. That's all you have to be able to do. Um, that about wraps it up for the polygon sum conjecture. If you were wondering about regular polygons, I'm going to put a video online about that as well. Uh, it should be in the sidebar and playlist. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope this video was informative. Have a great day.